Hi guys. So, I was looking at this uh, thing called the gap power. It's magnetic neutralization. You've probably seen it. Um, here's the demo of the motor. You can look at their stuff. It's called the gap power. And it's sort of like a Bendini type deal where it's using magnets and uh, using the back EMF as charging and stuff like that. But, I just wanted to see what... Uh, what was going on here so I decided to just make a small scale and what I did is I took some old hard drives CD-ROM um, <clears throat> built my own Starship coil for it stuff like that so here it is this is the whole thing um, bring over into the light so you can see uh, this is my cam mechanism here got my magnets down here I've only got one there and three here instead of two and five because I was just messing around but you can see my little starship coil in there it's pretty cool looking that is a bifiler wind starship coil one inch here's my fingers see how big it is so it's a little bitty thing but uh, basically what I found out with this particular model um, and I don't have it set up to fire right yet. I just wanted to see if I could even neutralize it. Basically, the Starship winding, the wires are so small that uh, they just, I have to put too much amperage into them to get it to work. So basically, I'm going to build a different coil and uh, see what I can do. But, uh, yeah. I want to show you that real quick. I'll keep going with this experiment. Uh, this is just playing around uh, with some ideas just to see what's out there. Okay guys, it's a new day and I've been messing with this for a while. This is uh, magnetic neutralization. Uh, the gap power is the people that kind of play with this. Here's my uh, Starship coil that I put in here that I tried to get working with this. Didn't really want to work correctly. Um, this is by Filer. But basically I was going to use one winding as catching uh, the back EMF and one is running it. But I have right now, I'm going to show you, I've got this thing running, but it's not running on a Starship coil, on a regular coil. I can play with that later. I probably won't even mess with it. I just wanted to see if this concept worked. So here's what I'm going to show you. Uh, first, this is my device that I built. I really got to fix this lighting. That's a little better. Alright, so what I have here is a coil and a stack of magnets on the back of it and they are the opposite as these magnets, so it is pushing away. So basically, what I have here is if I try to rotate it and get it just right, it basically, it always pushes away. Okay? So it's always repelling. And what this coil does here is it neutralizes this repelling force so that this can freely spin up to the top and then it, it de-energizes that coil and then the power now is being uh, the the rotational torque here is being made by the propelling magnets okay so I've got a photo eye on here a relay my power block I know it's a little messy but I uh, just want to show you guys that this thing runs I want to explain to you what these parts are real quick this is the arm off of the hard drive head. Uh, the bearing here, here, and then the uh, center where the hard drive actually is. You can see I've got this colored. Uh, I just used permanent marker, and that actually triggers my photo eye. So I can adjust timing by wiping some more on there or taking some off. I've got it pretty good. Probably could be better. Um, this here is off of a CD DVD tray where the, uh, the uh, laser is. Okay. Uh, this arm is actually another arm off of a smaller hard drive. Alright, so that's what I've got. Coil of wire here. And uh, just some plastic fittings I had that fit on here right. Alright, so I'm going to connect this power. Okay, 12 volts. Got it connected. And it should take off. So that's running on magnetic force only. Not... The coil is not making the thing run. The coil is only neutralizing the magnetic force. Okay. So 
so there you go. And just so you all know, I'm going to show you what my shop looks like whenever I have one of these spurt of a projects. This is what happens to my shop. It's just a huge disaster. Stuff all over the floor. Stuff all over the cabinets. I got the drill press out and just there's cups here and food there and this and that. It's just a freaking mess. Nonetheless, same runs. Now what I'm going to do is try to capture the back EMF spike off this coil so I can do other things with it. That's the whole purpose of even trying this. But it does work. Pretty cool little device. Hey look, there's me. Hi guys. In the background. So I got a little 12 volt relay. I guess it's 12 volt, it didn't even look. Eh, I don't know. It's working. It's kind of slowing down, see it? So there you go. Just wanted to show you the uh, thing running. Probably slowing down because there's too much friction. It's just a bolt there, coil wire. Yeah, it looks like it's running out of oil. But just to prove the concept works. And it is. Alright, power off. That's what I got for you right now. Just messing around, trying to do some more tests. I'll get back to the road and coil stuff here shortly, but uh, I gotta try everything I can. Learn more knowledge. Anything I can learn, the better off I am. So this is just good experience. Alright, um, might be all for this video. We'll find out. I forgot to add that basically on this um, device. The other useful thing was that the real device can actually lift 22 pounds and it is running on a 1 amp fuse. So 22 pounds or less than 1 amp, you guys do the calculations. But it can actually lift 22 pounds. Alright, so here's my device again. Um, this is actually a miniature um, gap power device actually working. Okay, that's actually what the name would be. The other thing is, is this motor here on the hard drive, okay, it's a stepper type motor, but I can uh, extract power from it, and that was part of the other purpose. If I can lift 22 pounds, I can run a small generator, so how much power can I generate and capture the back EMF and uh, do more work, okay? Uh, again, I was just kind of messing around, but that was the idea uh, by using the power. Alright, um, that's it. Probably going to set this thing aside as a working device and start on my rodent coils again. Got to learn. See you guys. One more thing to add. Starship coil versus the regular coil. I think the Starship coil has more dispersed magnetic field, but if you want to concentrate it, you have to use some other type of coil, like a rodent coil should do it, or um, the, a standard solenoid coil. But again, this was just a test. I thought I could get it to run more efficient on a Starship coil. Um, basically, I can't pack a small enough Starship coil in there to get it to work right. So, that's it. Alright, go build you one of these crazy devices. This is going in my um, cabinet. Probably never use it ever again. Alright, the Gap Power Magnetic Neutralization Device. Where it's going to stay for the rest of its life. Right here with my hourglass. My little, um, I forgot what that's called, Sterling engine and my other Sterling engine. These are, these, this is the place where my items go I don't use ever again. Fun experiments though. Go watch some videos on these two. They're on my YouTube channel way back when. I, I'm out. You guys go do something fun. Back to rodent coil winding. I also wound a three point rodent coil. I'll go get it. Alright, here's a three point rodent. It's hard to see, but you can see where my point is here, there, and at the top. 
It's wound on a, uh, you know those rings that you throw at the toy, uh, I mean the bottle toss at festivals? That's what that's wrapped on, a hard plastic ring. See it there. What happened was the, uh, you can see where it's kind of spaced out and the inner, inside's not round? See that? It's almost like it's shallow here and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It's because my three points weren't perfect when I started. I was off just a fraction. But it might be a good thing because I'm hoping I can get something to spin in here because now it's got more field on one side and less on the other. I don't really know. Alright. I'm out.